Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 13.3. Now this is one of the newest biggest update to iOS 13 which will come very very soon. Now actually Apple is holding an event next week that will be December 2nd and that's very likely the date that Apple will push this new update to the public so iOS 13.3. In this video we're gonna talk about what's new all the fixes, all the changes, and of course, the overall performance and battery life of iOS 13.3. So as usually with every update, iOS 13.3 as well will bring a ton of bug fixes and improvements to iOS. One of the biggest of them is the RAM management issue. Now that had been fixed first with the first beta of iOS 13.3. Now luckily that has also been fixed with iOS 13.2.2 but that was first fixed with iOS 13.3 so if you decide to install it on your device you know that that is fixed and you won't have that issue anymore now if you don't know iOS 13.3.13.2.1 had that issue where like when you go to the multitasking basically you switch between different apps and those apps would just shut down in the background so you go back to an app it wasn't ready for you to use but it will just like had to reload from the beginning so that's fixed on iOS 13.3. Moving on to the new changes and features of iOS 13.3. Now a very welcome one, I see a lot of people are very very happy for this new feature is that now you can actually disable Memoji stickers. So now you know with iOS 13, Apple has introduced Memoji stickers which basically you can use from the same like emoji keyboard, you will find them right here and you can basically use them directly from the keyboard. Now you will have the option to turn them off. All you gotta do is just go to settings, go to general, go to keyboards and right here on the end of the page right here we'll find the switch that allows it to basically disable them. So you can see when I go back to the emoji keyboards, the Memoji stickers won't be there anymore. Another very welcome change has happened on the video editing settings. So when you go to edit a video, now when you crop, like you trim a video here and you tap done, now you will have back the option to save this as a new clip. So basically the trim part, once you tap right here, will be saved as a new video. The original one will stay there. The, or the new video will be basically saved as a separate one. So tap on the edit button, once you trim the video, you can tap the dumb button and set right here, save as new video as new clip and now you're good to go. Saving video and you will have like that as a new clip right here on the camera roll. Another new feature of iOS 13.3 is communication limits. Now this has been around on the first few betas of iOS 13, but then it was removed and now is back with iOS 13.3. Now when you go to screen time, right here you will find communication limits. Now basically right here you will basically allow or prevent like contacts which can be contacted through the phone. So you can see right here you have allowed communications. During allowed screen time you can choose right there contacts only or you can change that to everyone. And if you go back you have during downtime you can set like contacts only or specific contacts so you can block all the other ones and allow just a few specific contacts that you can enter right there from your contacts list so that's the new communication limits that you will find on the screen time on ios 13.3 also a very nice change here on the screen time settings is that when you go to see all activity of course you will have your devices right here now previously it used to also show the devices that were inactive now it will show just the devices that you have currently active there is a new context menu on the iMessage app so if you force touch on one of the messages you will have this new menu right here if you tap on more it will show you of course the edit mode so it will select the current message and then you will be able to select the other ones as well so this is new here on iOS 13.3. There is also a small change on the design of the Apple Watch icon 
right here on iOS 13.3. Now that's very hard to notice, but just if you have like an old a device on an older version and you compare side by side, you will be able to like see the difference, but there's a slight design change right there on the Apple Watch icon. Apple has also added support for NFC, USB, Lightning, FID02, security keys on Safari. So on iOS 13.3, that's new as well. Also, there are a few like things that have been fixed on iOS 13.3. So if you go to one of your messages and you go to one of your contacts and you tap on info, you can see now that the attachments that that contact has sent you will show here like normal. Previously, it used like to basically this used to be blank or it was missing some stuff. Now that has been fixed as well. And one like bad thing on iOS 13.3, hopefully that will be fixed, but I don't know when is the mail app. The mail app keeps like not updating like how it should. It doesn't really, really work well at all. Now this has been a problem since the release of iOS 13 on beta one. I had that problem. It looked a bit better on iOS 13.2.2, but, but now on iOS 13.3, it's basically the same as it was from the beginning. Now that's a very, very big problem for me. Like emails don't update, you don't get notifications. Like you will have to basically enter the mail app and just manually try to refresh the emails in order to get the new ones. Like you have to do that three or four times. Now, hopefully that's not the problem for you, but that's a problem that I have encountered on iOS 13 since iOS 13 beta one, and it's still present here on iOS 13.3. Now talking about battery life, it has been decent. It hasn't been like great, not a major change. So don't expect iOS 13.3 like to basically give you a ton more battery life. It, it is good, maybe a bit better than iOS 13.2. 0.2 or 13.2.3, but it's not that that great. It's a slight improvement, but for me, it has basically been like mainly the same since the first release of iOS 13. Maybe 13.1 and newer have been a bit better, but it's basically the same. So expect to get the same battery life on iOS 13.3 as well. Now, the overall performance is, of course, pretty good. iOS 13 is quite fast, and of course, iOS 13.3 makes no acceptance. iOS 13.3 looks very, very smooth. Of course, there is the bug with the mail app in my case, and there, of course, are a few other bugs that other people have found that didn't actually, like, didn't happen to me on my device. The only bug I have experienced like constantly is the one with the email. It just really doesn't work at all. Like the mail app is absolute trash. Otherwise the device works really, really smooth. Everything pretty fast. And also 3D touch looks to be a bit better, like a bit faster. I believe this is like only on devices that have like the force touch screen. I have seen people report this as well. So devices with a real 3D touch screen will see an improvement on the speed when using 3D touch on iOS 13.3. Now let's talk about the release date. iOS 13.3, as I said at the beginning, is expected to be released on December. And I'm really hoping that it will be next week, December 2nd, which will be the day that Apple will hold their event. Now, usually Apple does this, they release new softwares on their events. Hopefully that will be the case as well. And we will see iOS 13 get released to the public. Now, currently as of today, iOS 13.3 is on beta three and we should see another one. And hopefully then on December 2nd, we will see the final release of iOS 13.3 to the public. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 13.3, not a ton of new features, but there are a few, few small ones that of course are really welcome. And of course, all the bug fixes and improvements are always welcome as well. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will see you on the next one.